In this video, we look at the continued several year uptrend in the uranium price. Canadian Mining Report is not a financial advisor. This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. The uranium price stayed relatively flat from 1990 through to 2004, averaging 10.8 US dollars per pound. But this was followed by a boom starting in 2005, with a 12-fold rise in the price to a peak around 120 US dollars per pound in April 2007. This was on supply concerns after the Cigar Lake mine in Saskatchewan, one of the largest sources of global uranium reserves, was flooded. However, the price declined over the next four years as the mine was eventually drained. A brief rise in the price in 2010 and early 2011 was followed by the Fukushima disaster in Japan in March 2011, which drove an extended decline in the price to a low of 19.8 US dollars per pound in October 2016. However, there's been a consistent uptrend in the uranium price since 2017, reaching 43.5 US dollars per pound in May 2023, as global political support for nuclear power, especially as a key component of the shift to green energy plants, has gradually increased. A rise in nuclear power demand has driven a widening deficit between uranium production and supply from just 7,000 tons of U308 or uranium concentrate in 2013 to 20,000 tons in 2021, according to the World Nuclear Association, with production declining from 91% of world demand in 2013 to just 74% of demand in 2021, with recycling and other sources comprising a rising contribution to supply, putting upward pressure on the price. The IEA forecasts that the uranium market will come into balance by 2025 at 59,000 tons of uranium ore, which we note is the raw mine output in contrast to the processed uranium concentrate in the previous slide, and then shift to a deficit of 4,000 tons in 2030, widening to 14,000 tons by 2035 and 21,000 tons by 2040, which suggests that the long-term trend for the price could continue to be strong. Canada is the second largest global uranium producer at 15% of the total in 2022, with Kazakhstan by far the largest producer at 43%, and Namibia, Australia, and Uzbekistan the next largest producers at 11%, 8%, and 7% of the total. Canadian production reached 22% of the global total from 2015 to 2016, but declined to just 13% in 2018 and 2019, and then to a low of just 8% in 2020, before recovering to 15% in 2022. The decline from 2017 was driven by a halt of operations at the MacArthur River mine by Cameco, which is Canada's largest uranium producer, leaving all production from Cigar Lake, another Cameco mine. However, Cameco restarted operations at MacArthur River in November 2022, which could lead to a significant increase in Canada's contribution to global output of uranium in 2023. Canada will continue to be a major contributor to global uranium production long term, as it has the third highest global reserves at 9% of the total, with Australia having the largest reserves at 28% of the total, and Kazakhstan the second largest at 15% of the total. Canadian proven and probable uranium reserves, or those resources with a high confidence of recovery, are mostly from the MacArthur River and Cigar Lake mines, with the third highest PMP reserves from Wheeler. Although there are substantial reserves also from the Aero project, these are inferred and indicator resources with a lower confidence of recovery. For more information on uranium, other metals, and junior mining companies, click the link in the description or bio below to go to www.canadianminingreport.com.